Yes, hi again. This is the Spirit Journey, and it's probably after 11 a.m. this Saturday, um, November 19th, 2016. Yeah, I just posted a video regarding the video with the young black child who was um, kicked out or threatened to be kicked out of the house because he did a mock election, well, the school did a mock election mock election uh, for the presidential candidacy and he voted Trump and the mother was very his you know taking it out of his his kid well what well this video is part of my like coming out video of who, who I am as a person um, what what well why I want to post this video regarding this election is that I feel that this whole election thing, I, th I think people have the freedom to choose. People should have the freedom to agree or disagree on something. But I thought with this uh, 2016 uh, presidential election was one of intimidation and I'm, so I'm tired of it. Growing up, I thought that my beliefs were, everything about me I thought was being antagonized. I was antagonized to not speak the same way of the um, people in the community I lived in, in New York City. I didn't quite look exactly the same as the people from my community. And yes, my background, my grandparents did come from the Caribbean, but I'm born and raised there. This is the only country I knew at the time, so, you know, growing up. But what I want to say is that that I feel that many people in the black community like to intimidate, intimidate people who don't want to follow this stereotype of the ghetto, uh, ghetto person, you know, and that you know if if you're not a thug, you're not. You're not one of us and I'm saying now that we have to you know blacks who are watching this have to stand their ground and say you know enough is enough we have to start standing up for what we believe in what I want to say is yes I did vote for Trump and I have a reason why I voted for Trump I never used to watch elections you know and but this is the first time in my life that I actually listen to any anything about the elections and I thought for me that he better represented things that I was concerned about I knew that I didn't want to vote for Hillary Clinton because I felt that there was a lot of corruption. I did not like her uh, not getting involved with supporting she she and her husband Bill Clinton to support their black son, well Hillary's stepson, but Bill Clinton's black son, Danny Williams. That's a biggie for me. I'm very, I, I love babies. I love little children. I love little animals. And when his video came out at, at what the Clintons did to him, I said, no way I could vote for Hillary. And there was many other things about Hillary that I didn't like. And I also was embarrassed by Bill Clinton regarding the Monica Lewinsky um, incident that happened over over 17 years ago so Donald Trump isn't perfect but he did specifically say that he wanted to to improve to to um, improve the black community's um, economic viability and I feel with Trump that his, that you can believe his word. Again, I've never met him, and but I feel he's a man of his word, 
and that many people in New York, in the media, we, we know of Trump for, for many years, maybe 30 years, and the only thing bad about him that I ever heard about him prior to this election was about his hair. And that was it. Through the 30 years, he's been in the, um, in the public's eye. That's the, that's the worst I can find about him. And yes, he, he did have, um, dip, you know, there was um, infidelity I found out about. But, you know, that, that isn't good, and I'm not in favor of that. But outside of all those things, you know, there, there's only two people that you can vote for. I, I spoke to a family member um, briefly about the candidacy, and they did say that they were pro-Hillary, which is their business. But I said to the person, I said, well, you know, I'm not sure how I'm going to vote. And at that time, I wasn't sure. This was maybe a month ago. And... I felt afraid to tell him, you know, that I was considering the possibility of voting for Trump. I, I care about my family members, but I don't want to be bullied. And part of me was afraid to share. I, I was terrified. And just imagine this little boy who's made between the ages of seven and nine years old, how terrified he is about his, you know, mock election thing, you know. Uh, when it came out, I was afraid too. I feel that if a little, little child could confess how he voted on something, I don't know how the mother found out, but even with me, I was afraid of backlash, especially maybe four months ago when I first started to follow the election, and that I, I was terrified to, for, the, for the thought that me, a, a so-called black person or mixed-race person, could vote for the monster Donald Trump. You know, I, I, someone might try to hurt me. I was afraid of that. It, it, it threw me back, like when I was in elementary school and junior high school, how a lot of the blacks tried to intimidate the other black kids who weren't down like them, you know? And I was petrified, and I, I, I didn't speak out. But I feel for me, I have to start, you know, in this spiritual journey, this is all a spiritual journey for me. Regardless how you want to vote for anybody, it's, it's a whole process of what, what, what keeps you in bondage, and fear was one of them. And I know it might affect my, you know, subscribership. Again, this is not a monetized um, channel, anyhow. But I'm, I'm officially saying that, yes, I did vote for Trump, and I hope the best for this election. And if Hillary would have won, I would support her too, you know, support the country. Because when push comes to shove, it's all the same. One election from another, next four years is going to be another, you know, someone else and someone else, you know. But we have to come together as one country with many types of people from all different backgrounds. But we shouldn't be intimidated against or beat up because what you, who, who you voted for. That's thuggery. Let's stop the violence and let's come together as one nation, a republic. Not a democracy. This is a republic, a constitutional republic. So let's start acting like that and stop acting like fools. Let's respect each other's beliefs and stop being a bully on those people who think or act differently. So feel free to comment below. Share this video with friends, family members. Um, you can subscribe to Spirit Journey. And again, please give me the thumbs up if you like. Bye-bye.